So all of these glow? Yeah, each one of these uses a, a glow powder inside of it, inside embedded in the epoxy to give it a glow effect, or in this case, it's painted on. Mm, what's a glow powder? I'm glad you asked. So for the most part, a glow powder is a strontium illuminate powder, and it's available in a variety of colors. It's just a pretty large selection of actually what you can probably get, but you're going to be able to get it in kind of a, a neutral powdery form or a colored form. And both of those can be floated in a semi-clear uh, paint like these have been. So depending on your application, if you want to paint with the colors, you can use this. Or if you want to cover something like this white skull, you might be able to hide the powders in something like this. So let me show you what this looks like in the dark. For lighting this up, I'm using a UV light. Uh, that's going to give you your strongest glow and the longer, uh, a longer glow. You can use just a regular bright light, like an LED, but it's not going to produce as much of a glow. There's an LED example. And you can pick up a UV light on Amazon, just about anywhere. So this is what the powders look like glowing in the dark. And they do a really good job when they're floated in a clear epoxy. I'll show you a closer look at this paint. This is the white paint with a red stronium powder floated in it. And the glow is going to depend on how thick the layers of paint that you have on there. The more of that strontium, uh, the better. And here is the green. Shine that up with a little UV light. And what they look like just with the lights on. So let's show some of the applications we've used these powders on. So we'll start with the Dragon Skull first. This is the only one that I have on hand that uses this technique. And for this one, we just made a regular Dragon Skull and we painted over it with the uh, white version of the glow powders so it does have a bit of a chalky look to it but it doesn't detract from the skull look so when the lights are off and you've charged it with a uv light or some sunlight you get a very cool effect so let's see what that looks like here we have a very interesting glow in the dark skull you're seeing a little bit of reflection from my screen Let me know what you think in the comments below. So this is an egg and we used a little bit of transparent dyes along with some glow powders. So this is what it looked like with the lights on. And we used three different powders. We have an orange, a red, and a yellow glow powder in here. And we tried to time the epoxy pour so they kind of swirled a little bit instead of blended. And this is kind of the effect we were able to pull off with that. And this glow is going to last with a good charge, you know, maybe five minutes. Uh, it'll faintly glow for probably half an hour. Really cool. This is the Chaos Orb, and this is probably the trickiest of the glows that we can do. For this one, we do have to cut out the mouth and backfill it in with some glow powders and re-carve out the details here. And we also have to separately do the eyes. So it's a bit more tedious than most, but it does have a very cool effect. So this is what we have, just looking in the, in the light. And here it is, with the lights off. Charge those up. Definitely gives him a very lava fill. really like how this one's coming along. This one is not yet finished, actually. Uh, we still have some more painting to do, but it's definitely in a showable state. This is our first sliver egg that we have sold together. We have quite a few more going and some different glow-in-the-dark options, but this is an overlord. 
And I really love how the egg looked white in the light, and then when you charge it up in the dark, it just, it shines. The white strontium, pow strontium powders really, really shine. Probably the brightest, I would think. There is an extra cost if you're wanting to do glow-in-the-dark powder. These powders are not free. The red is about $25 an ounce to get the powders, so it can be pretty expensive. But the effects are pretty cool. This skull is one of the first attempts we did at glow powders, and kind of has a gem quality to it. Maybe it's a piece of quartz or something. Charged up in the dark. Definitely changes its flavor. Very cool. Head drawings have been very popular with the glow powders. And this is what it's gonna look like in the light. Let's charge this up. So you can just imagine the sitting on your shelf, faintly glowing, tucking you in at night after it absorbs the light from the from the day. Glowing with a little bit of blue mana in there. We don't do any painting on the inside, we just try to polish up the resin as best we can. There you go. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below. And if glow powders is right for you. Well, thanks so much for all that information. Yeah. I love how Merrick's skull turned out. I think my favorite's got to be the Overlord. Well, be sure to join us every Sunday and Tuesday, 5 to 8, while we stream on Twitch. As always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.